There's a rule in our house, if you have a jumper, slippers and track pants on, then we can turn the heater on. Otherwise, if you don't, put it on, it's not cold enough. Hi, I'm Carl Valeri, former Melbourne Victory captain, and this is my wife, Whitney. We live on 10 acres in the Macedon Ranges with our three children and our dog. We're a family that doesn't enjoy a lot of screen time. Our lifestyle is outdoors and involved in conversation with each other because that's a value that we have. We have our newly fenced vegetable patch that we're looking forward to creating together. This is going to be the veggie patch and I think it'll be really nice to have the kids eat from here and I just feel healthy talking about it, I think. We have gone to great lengths to make our home as energy efficient as possible. So we bought energy efficient products. All the lights in our house are LEDs. We have double glazing on all of the windows throughout the house. Just really keeps the house cool during summer and warm during winter. I think the addition of the, the block out blinds as well really help. I mean, you can notice the difference in summer when those blinds are down. If we make sure we always switch the television off at the power. We tell the girls that they like to sleep with a light on, but we say, you know, why don't we switch it off tonight, you know, to save that energy. And our house, the heating and cooling is zoned. We only have the heater on in the room that we are using at mm. that time. We added extra doors in to block some of the heating in the main areas, which is a big energy saver for us. Yes. So we collect rainwater and that's our water. We don't have water mains. And these are the pumps that run it, is the one, the smart one that's almost running like a computer and that has a detection where the amount of taps you have on it provides enough power. So this is a cost saver right here. We actually have a dam that collects the road water runoff and I use that dam to water the garden and I've done it myself. I believe that it is our responsibility to educate ourselves and then our children about the environment and sustainability. It's great to include the kids in on these conversations. You know, you can see their little brains ticking over and, you know, even our daughter Isabel with her showers is just amazing the way she will turn off the water to save any energy possible when she's washing her hair. We want to be you know, totally sustainable one day. That's our aim. My advice for people when choosing an energy for provider is, it's important that you can kind of align your values with similar companies. I think that's important going into the future. Come boss. If all of us do that, then we'll all be heading in the right direction.